shape Egyptian hijab. So these are the materials I'll be needing: my scissors, my tape measure, my chalk, and my office pen. So let's get started. The measurements I'll be working with are the face circumference, the side, the length of my hijab at the side, and the length of my hijab, the front and the back length. So the face circumference I'm working with is a hell. Before I go on, I'm working with a lighter fabric of two trousers. And I already divided the fabric into two for the front and the back part. So this is the, the back part I'm cutting out first. So I already folded my fabric into two. This is the closed part of the fabric. And this is the open part of the fabric. The first circumference I'm working with is 20 inches. And I'm going to divide that 20 inches into four. And that's going to give me five inches. So from the upper part of the folding, I'm going to mark out my face circumference, which is five inches. 20 divided by four is five inches. So this is the mark out. And from this point, I'm going from this point, I'm going to go down by 25 inches. That's how long I want it to be at the side. And that's like around the the elbow line. 25 inches that's around my elbow line so from this point to this point i'm going to use my long ruler to connect the markings so that's that so from this point again I'm, from this point, I'm going to mark out the length of my hijab. So I'm going to, the length I'm working with is 48 inches from the upper part, 48 inches. That's for my back length. This is my 48 inches. And from this point, I'm going to connect it to the side with my long ruler. And after that, I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to notch it at the center and I'm going to fold my other fabric into two and I'll place this on it to cut out my front my front part but before cutting it out I'm going to reduce the length by, uh, by three inches here so this is 48 I'm going to that one is going to be 45 inches because this the front is going to be shorter than the back so, after placing my back part on the other fabric and cutting out my front part, the next thing to do now is to cut the cap of my hijab. I'll take a piece of fabric from the remaining fabric. This is a piece of fabric. And I'll fold it into two. Ensuring that I'm, this is the front part of the fabric and this is the back part. So I'll fold this into two. After folding into two, I'll fold it into another two. So this is where I'll derive my cap from. I'll make sure that the foldings are well aligned. So from, from this point, I'm going to make, mark out the, the length of my cap, which will be my face circumference divided by 2. So that's, my face circumference is 20 inches divided by 2, that's 10 inches. And the length of my cap will be 
three and a half inches. Three for the length and half inch for the sewing allowance. So this is my scarf. If I want to cut out two layers of this scarf, I will reduce the other part by one inch. So this one is three and a half inches. The next one, if I'm going to cut out another layer, will be two and a half inches. So I'll cut this out and show you the next thing to do. This is the cut out of my cap. So the next thing to do now is to lay my the hijab I cut out on the floor and place the front on the back, ensuring that the face, the front part of the fabric is facing the front part of the fabric. So this is it. Then I'll take it to my machine and connect this side and this side to the edge to the 25 inches I cut out. That is the, for the side of the jab. So I will go and sew this part and come back to show you this side and this side. I'll come back to show you the next. So I connected the sides of my hijab. This is the joining. This is the other joining. I've connected it. The next thing to do now is to connect and I've hemmed my edges. You can decide to weave yours. I've hemmed mine. So the next thing to do now is to connect my cap to the notched side. Ensure that the notch side falls at the back part because that part is longer than the front one. So I'll connect my, my cap. I already notched the center. I'll connect it. I'll ensure that the front part of the fabric is facing the front part of this part too. And I'll connect it all down on my sewing machine. First of all, So I'll join it all down and come back to show you the final outcome. Having connected my cap to my hijab, I've completed the sewing. So I'll show the next thing to do is I'll show you the final look of my hijab. This is the V-shaped Egyptian hijab. 